Okay, so this is, I put this together. Oops, I put this uh, together. <laughs> What's, what the hell's going on? It's getting better. <laughs> yeah, so I put this together just to kind of uh, put the chronology of what happened over the past year or so uh, to kind of show you the evolution of my new shack. So the seed was planted, you know, all those trips down to FDIM and hanging out, you'll see one common face in all these pictures. And uh, this guy planted a seed about retiring and all the benefits of doing this. So, you know, I decided to put my foot down and went to the wife. And I said, wife, you know, I'm going to retire. And uh, she ended up putting her foot down. <laughs> <laughs> and you're not retiring. <laughs> So, you know, we, we had a compromise and the compromise was you kind of work part time, right? So I ended up, so I'm next year, I'm hopefully I'm going to be working part time. And so uh, with that move, I sort of had to downsize, get out of debt and get ready for retirement. So, you know, I had the discussions, we had to have the planning and discussions going on with the various you know, my key advisors. And uh, <laughs> so here's the shack I had. You can see uh, uh, here in the left hand side, that's my radio. That's my old tuner there. My old ICOM unit at the top. Here's my um, Yagi. I had a TH3, a three element HF Yagi. And I had a remote uh, shack switch at the bottom here to change antennas. And so my shack was fairly big, lots of stuff in there. And that's me. And yes, I had a mustache at one time in my life. So the initial work, I had to clean up the house, you know, get the house ready for resale. And uh, in the process, I tried, you know, killing a few of the Gunter children. Here's the Gunter girl. You know, I tried killing her doing work around the house. She got smart and she left. The Gunter boy, uh, he was a little bit more stupid. So I was able to, to do some damage on him. <laughs> and uh, so uh, as I started packing my shack up to go, you'll see my shack here packing up and you'll see slowly it's being packed up and here it's, the bottom right, it's towards the end. And uh, it's pretty much empty for the move. So we moved, and this is a short little video here showing the new house, the basement, before I took possession of the house. This is what the basement looked like. Can you guys see this okay? Yeah. Okay. So you can see here, uh, this is uh, the Rufton bathroom. There's some storage areas, storage area here. And the key thing here is, I don't know if we're gonna see it. Oops, oh shit, God damn it. I hate this PC. Oh my God. Let's see if we can do frame by frame. Yeah, this thing is not playing very nice. Because, okay, what I wanted to show you here in this room, the floor joists are running this way, right along the floor. So it's perfect for me to run wires in. And then as I go, go over and I look at the rest of the basement, you'll see the floor joists are running this way. So the floor joists are running this way over in this part of the basement. And behind me, the floor joists are running in the opposite direction. So which makes it perfect for me to running run cables in the ceiling. So you can see it's a large open basement. See, here's the joists running this way. And you can see here, these are gas lines, the yellow lines. And... Uh, This is all the uh, prior occupants 
um, stuff in the basement. So, so this part of the basement, now you see the joists are running this way, but we've got a heating duct here, which had to be enclosed. So, you know, if I was to make a little bit of room here, I could make a raceway for cables. So I use this part of the basement as my shack. That's what I'm in right now. And so I use the, where that header is, the, that other part of the basement, I enclosed that and I made that into my office. So that's kind of the basement, the layout of the basement that uh, came with. And then from the outside, then, you know, I looked at antennas. Where would I mount antennas? So a nice thing here is we've got this, um, this pergola or this uh, trellis. And we've got so I've got some beams here. So one of the things I'm thinking of doing is attaching a mast to this beam here and putting my vertical antenna on top of that. So at this point I could run my vertical here. And you can see my backyard's a tiny compared to the place of, I was in now. So this here, if you look here, uh, you're not really getting a sense of it. But this is now the other side of the of the, the basement here. So this is where the furnace room is. So my idea was to punch a hole here, bring my cables out here, and you could see vinyl siding here. I would uh, do a remote long wire antenna tuner and strap the antenna along the side of the house, just below the eaves trough and run my antenna around the perimeter of the house, have my tuner here, then in this area, put a ground shield, put a screen down, all from the back of this fence all the way back to the other fence, and that becomes my ground plane. So that's kind of my thinking of how I'm gonna lay out my antennas. I don't have the antennas up, the holes drilled, the cables out, and also to here, I was gonna mount my remote antenna switch here so I could switch between my vertical and my long wire. And I'd use my long wire for lower frequency, lower frequencies, and I'd use my vertical for the, the higher frequencies. There you could see the, uh, the vinyl siding there. So my initial move, and here's the basement now finished. Here's the room, I'm in finish. You can see the um, heating duct sealed in, and you can see some access panels I've got. So that's where my cable raceway is. That's where I'm gonna run my cables along. This is just this room here at the back. It's a, it's a closet. It's a cold storage room. So I put shelves in there, and I'm gonna put all my uh, junk. So you can see the shack evolving. So I started building my desk my workbench. So here's half of my workbench. Here's the other half of my workbench. And here's the workbench completed. And I started mounting things up, mounting all my parts and things. And then I turned my attention to cabling. There's the hole going out. Uh, remember last week we talked about, uh, or a couple weeks ago we talked about drilling a hole. So there's a hole there that I'm gonna run my cable through. Here's the raceway, and you could see the pull string that I used to pull my cable. And uh, that's the covering that covers the uh, raceway there. Here's my remote antenna switch that's gonna go outside. It's got four ports, and it's remotely controlled from this switch here, which will be inside my shack. So here's now running of the cables. You can see here's, a, here's one raceway where the joists change directions. So at this point, the joists uh, change direction here. And uh, there's um, my coax cable there. And I also ran some U U UTP cable because I need to control the remote antenna tune tuner. Here's the cables coming out of the ceiling of my shack. Uh, here's a picture of the 
uh, cables um, running in the ceiling. And you can see the uh, it's running right beside my water pipes there. So it'll be nice and warm. And here's the cable going to the outside. So I put it in a nice coil to um, uh, as a choke. I'll also put uh, ferrites on the cable outside the house as well to act as a choke. And uh, this is my ethernet. This is showing my networking uh, layout. I've got my ethernet Cisco network switch there, my uh, uh, cable modem coming in, all my cables, and I've got all my walls. I've got all my cable, um, ethernet cables all labeled nicely, very professionally looking. So here's now outside. You could see here the hole. This is where the cable comes out. And I followed P Peter's advice about putting a, a box to pull pull the cable through. So you could see the coax cable coming out, going into the uh, remote cable switch. And there's my UTP for controlling the remote, uh, the um, uh, long wire tuner. I have mounted my, I just got my long, long wire tuner on Friday and I'm just setting it up now. So, and here's, here's the finished product. So this is my shack as is right now. I've put a big screen, a large TV I'm using as a monitor for my computer. There's my computer there. And here's my bench. And I've, uh, I've got, you know, another little table in the corner, parts, lots of space, floor space around. So I call this my noodling station. I've got a Linux box here an old Linux box. And so here is where I plan to do all, all my noodling. Um, so, and I've got my, my desk split up in terms of stations. So here's my soldering station. Here's my soldering iron, my hot air rework station, light, eyes, you know, everything there. Here's my test station. So here's my, uh, uh, spectrum analyzer, my signal generator, my scope. Uh, Peter, by the way, I turned on my spectrum analyzer uh, a couple days ago for the first time. I was trying to sweep my cables I was using to make sure my cables were good. I could not figure out how to use the tracking generator. It took me, I'm not kidding, it took me about 20 minutes to figure it out. And then here's my operating station. So this is okay. where I'll have, this is where I'll have my um, my radio and my PC. That'll be running like a ham radio deluxe to control my PC. Here's my parts station. Here's uh, just some storage where I got all my kits and again storage. And that's it.